This is Jonathan Agar, here for Pro Boxing fans. We're here at the top ranked gym in Las Vegas for a media day for Devin Haney, who takes on George Cambosis June 5th in Australia. I'm joined by James Lockwood. James, just tell us what your role is in Devin Haney's team. I, I am his nutritionist and chef. When did you first come into camp? Has this been a long time? or This is my first camp with Devin, but we've been in communication for uh, roughly a year. What do you think made him bring yourself into camp for this fight uh, in comparison? to the others I just think he's uh, you know ready to take it to the next level he's obviously a world champion so he's already there but just to put all the pieces together to ensure that he's got everything he needs to bring home those belts so at the time of recording we're about a month I'd say away from the fight yep. where you know what is sort of Devin's plan at the moment in terms of his weight and cutting down to 135 sort of where's he at, at the moment well Devin's right where he needs to be and he's not worried about uh, the number on the scale because he lets me worry about that so I talk with his coaches and understand how he trains when he trains and I fuel him accordingly so we're right on track and sort of just run us through sort of you know how many times a day is he eating uh, what stuff is he eating? well you know depending on the day we feed him for the day so if he's training hard he eats big if he's resting he eats a little less um, and that's really the gist of it it's all about the timing of the foods he wakes up he eats breakfast he has a post-workout shake he has snacks and then obviously Obviously, his three meals. So, I spoke to a nutritionist uh, in the UK, um, Kel Brooks, nutritionist, before he fought Amir Khan, and he, and you know, a lot of people were questioning whether Kel would make the weight. I asked him sort of about sort of you know when you rehydrate. He said that fights can be won and lost just in sort of the rehydration process alone. Just explain that. Well, uh, if you're dehydrated, even like a little three percent or less, it can affect your performance greatly. So, depleting yourself before a fight and then not rehydrating and refueling properly, your gas tank's not full and you can't expect to perform at the highest level. And sort of what sort of stuff will Devin be eating sort of post weigh-in? What sort of stuff do you got planned? We're, we're, we're not going to share that right now, but uh, don't you worry, he'll be full and ready to rock. <laughs> and how do you see the fight going? Obviously you'll be back in Devin. How do you think this fight plays out? Um, you know, I'm not one to make a prediction, but I do predict that we will be coming home with those belts. You can leave it to the boxing coaches for the predictions. And just for those that want to know a bit more, more about yourself, um, who have you worked with and you know where do people follow you? Uh, I've been with Gennady Golovkin for a couple years, Triple G, Badu Jack, Caleb Plant. This is my third uh, unification fight in a row, so I've been at the highest level for quite some time now. I'm blessed, I'm grateful, uh, and uh, you can find me on social media, James Lockwood, uh, either on Twitter or Instagram. And just on that, how does Devin compare to those fighters in terms of sort of work rate and what you see in the gym? Uh, well, I'll speak on Devin, Devin specifically, and his he's he's an elite professional, and he's fully dedicated at all times. He's uh, his focus is laser-like and uh, truly a blessing to be around. All right, James, thanks for talking to Pro Boxing fans. Appreciate it.